I tried a new stock trading strategy and I learned some things and I wanna share those things with you about this strategy that I learned and I'm gonna take you to my computer so I can do it in more of a visual format so you can see the results and all that. But first, I just wanna set the context so that you kind of understand what this new strategy was and how it all worked. So here's me and again, for context sake, my normal strategy, and I'm not gonna go down into all the weeds, but just generally speaking, the key word being multiple entries. Meaning I could buy some shares and then, okay, I'll buy some more shares, you know, maybe. But there was a lot of flexibility in, this, in the sense of I could do, again, multiple entry points. However, what I decided to try and what you're gonna see the results of is this right here. One entry. Meaning I got into a stock and that was it. That was my entry point. From there, I had to let everything play out. I had to let everything work. So that's the main difference. That's the new strategy, meaning that down here, the underlying dynamic here, everything was still being based and grounded in charts. Now the fancy name for charts is technical analysis, but I, I am a technical trader and I remain a technical trader. So it's not like this was a different strategy in the sense of I started to use fundamentals and PE ratios and started to look at like income statements, nothing like that. This was the difference, which is a relatively big difference to say, yeah, you can have multiple entry points, you can have all that sort of flexibility or just saying you can have one entry point. But again, all based in charts. Clay, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Well, you know what? I do listen to people. I do take what you as viewers have to say to heart. When I read comments and I you know, take mine, and a lot of people, now some of you are just savage about it, some of you are total trolls about it. Other people though are respectable and, but you know, I, I can admit when there's a common theme and the theme was, Clay, I don't have a massive account. I don't have the ability to do multiple entries. I can't just keep buying or keep shorting. I, a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people don't have that size of account. And you know what, that's, that's a totally fair point. I can't refute that. I'm not gonna disagree with that at all. I, I agree with you. So I decided to just show you, you know what? The thing is, when you understand charts, when you understand technical analysis, you don't need to have a bunch of multiple entry points. You can just do it with one entry point. And I've done plenty of other videos on this showing other people with smaller accounts and growing. But the idea here is that I don't want you to think that the only way to trade, the only way you could have success, the only way you could make money is to have to be able to have the ability to do multiple entry points. Like, you know, you've seen a lot of my live trade videos. I wanted to just give it a try. And this also full disclosure, it's not like I've never done this before. Is it my core strategy? Has it been my core strategy over the, the past as long as I can remember? No, it hasn't. But this is also not like it was like totally brand new. And I've never done this before. But I said for the, for the you know, for the month, one entry point. So that is the background, that's how it worked out. So now I wanna take you to my desktop and let me show you the results and what I learned from it. All right, welcome to my desktop here. And as you see, these were the results that played out with the strategy. And my first question to you would be this, maybe you've already noticed, but does anything stand out to you about these results from me? Well, I'm assuming you notice relatively quickly that that's a pretty big number right there. In fact, a really big number compared to all the other numbers that you see on the screen. And unfortunately, it's a red number with a big old negative sign in front of it, meaning I lost money on that day. And it was a very, very big day. So what happened? Very good question. What did I learn from this? And not necessarily what did I learn, just what did I have reminded to me? And it's amazing how as much as you know this stuff, the human mind is a crazy place. But yeah, what happened? What happened on that day where it got just so much bigger than everything else? And to set up some context here, let's first look at those first two days. Maybe you can relate to this. Uh, if you can't, then just be aware of it. And if I can, you know, just, if you can learn from my pain, learn from my stupidity, awesome. This is a video, uh, you know, my time is well spent doing this so that you can avoid this. But previous two days, I took that loss, $238. And then the next day, I quote unquote, only made $118. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I took a losing day, yeah, it was controlled, and I'll get it back the next day, and I'll just, and the next day happened, and I didn't get it back. 
Now you may be saying, well, Clay, you, you're really close. Everything up until that point what was just fine. And you're right, you're, you're absolutely right. I agree with you. But that's the tricky part about the human mind. Those first two days, or the f two days before that loss, they just started to get in my head. Oh, I took that loss and I, I don't like to take losses and I, I, I'll get it back the next day. Oh great, I didn't get it back the next day. So that ultimately led me to saying, you know what? It's time to put on the cape. It's time to make things happen. It's time to do some superhero actions. But we definitely don't wanna do that as traders, okay? We don't wanna do superhero trading because that leads to pain as you see right there. It is very tempting, it happens all the time, it happened to me, I mean it happens to traders all the time, it doesn't necessarily happen to me all the time, but it did happen to me right here, and you see, it leads to pain. If you find yourself wanting to trade like a superhero or thinking that you need to trade like a superhero, which was this case right here, don't do it. Don't put on the cape. Don't start ripping off your clothes and thinking that you're insert blank a favorite superhero. Don't do it. Yes, and here's the crazy part. Here's a very crazy part about that big losing day. Is And this is just the, the cruelty of the markets. I mean, the market just was laughing at me and, and the market is savage, but that on that day, my first trade was a good, solid gain. But all the market did was like, okay, Clay, you wanna trade like a superhero? Let's give you a little fool's gold. Let's show you that this superhero trading, let's make you think that it's actually working. So let's, let's give you a, a winning trade. And it gave me a winning trade, and then you can see there, was all downhill from that point. So a savage move on the market's part, but it's totally my fault, I'm not blaming the market, I'm just saying that's usually how the market works is it'll feed you a little false hope, feed you a little fool's gold before it crushes you and that's exactly what happened here. So the moral of the story here is follow the rules. Follow the rules of your strategy. Don't break them and I get it, that's like the most obvious thing, that's probably the thing I say the most whether it be on the podcast or here on the YouTube channel or anyway, hey, if you have a system, let the system work. Follow the rules, don't break the rules. You hear it all the time. It's probably very cliche to say, but this is what happens. And when you are a superhero, when you become a superhero, when you start acting like a superhero, that's just a translation for you're breaking all sorts of rules. You're not following the system, you're not letting the system work, you're just breaking rules because like I said, in this situation, it got in my head that I was just getting a little irritated that I had taken that loss, I wasn't quite able to get the loss back the next day, so therefore, I'm gonna make sure I get the loss back, and then I have to you know, compensate even more. And just frustrating. And here's uh, uh, the crazy part is, did you maybe notice this here, in terms of just letting the system work? So when I got back to just the strategy that I was using, check that out. I mean, right back to what exactly was happening before I decided to trade like a superhero. So I mean, it sticks out like a sore thumb because up to that point, everything was fine. And then as soon as I got back to just letting the system work, things got fine again. Now not fine in terms of everything was perfect, which brings up the next point, is the strategy is totally valid. It's totally scalable, it's totally you know works. Whatever you, word you wanna put in there, but it's definitely a legitimate way to go about the market. It's a legitimate way to trade. Now this may be, well how do you know that, Clay? Or in other words, I'm working on this strategy, but how do I actually know when the strategy is valid? How do I know when it, it actually works? It's a true strategy. Because I've heard you say that, Clay, before, is you have to get yourself an actual strategy. You have to get yourself a true strategy, but how do I know when it's true? And you know when it's true, and this is why whenever anybody asks me this question, hey, Clay, I, I got this strategy, here are my results, or what, what's going on with it, and the first question I always ask them is, have you taken any losses? What do your losses look like? What are your losses doing to the strategy? Meaning, if you have a strategy that right now maybe you're, you're testing out and you're wondering, is it valid, and you're just looking and all you have is wins, that's not a valid strategy. I get that sounds backwards. What, how, how could that not be a valid strategy? It's all wins, it's all green. Yes, but, and I mean, have you been there before? I know I've been there before, where you get a bunch of green, bunch of green, bunch of green, and then one, losing trade or one losing day wipes out a ton or maybe all of your previous wins. That's not a valid strategy. If one loss, if one losing day wipes out everything, then sorry, that's not valid. 
because your risk versus reward is off somewhere within the strategy. So the best way to go about this, the best way to answer this is losing days are such important data points. They are the key to understanding whether or not your strategy is viable, whether or not it's actually valid and can be scalable and build up over the long term. And in this situation, it definitely was because I had losing trades. In fact, I had three, or not, excuse me, not, I had way more than three losing trades. But remember, you can have losing trades within an overall uh, winning day. But I had three overall losing days, yet everything was fine. The, the, the account was still growing, and it's not like any of those losing days blew things up. Now, yes, the one did blow it up, but that was not the strategy's fault. That was my fault for not following the strategy. But when I did follow the strategy, when I did let the system work, you can see here, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. You're gonna have losing, losing days. In fact, you wanna have losing days because again, the losing days are that stress test. That's what's gonna give you insight into whether or not you have some sort of true strategy. So when you're out there and you're trading, don't look at a losing day. And I assure you, I'm talking to myself right now after this, don't look at a losing day as, oh, I'm not good at trader. Oh, my strategy's broken. Oh, my system's broken. Now, yeah, I mean, if the losing day wipes away a bunch of stuff, then yeah, maybe your strategy is broken, maybe it's not a true strategy. But if it doesn't, and you're still green, and it's, you know, the, the, you know, the, the losing day is easily wiped away, then that's fine. Don't let a losing day get into your head too much because those are the key data points. That's what's giving you the most valid and the most valuable insight into the actual strategy. And also I learned that the strategy is definitely worth the time. And I, for me, my big walk away, now a lot of this stuff that I'm talking about, I didn't necessarily learn it. Um, I, I, I kind of realized it already. But this one, I did kind of learn because it, it caught me off guard a little bit. I don't know why in hindsight, but usually, and there is my gains right there, so add it up, 29, 21. But usually instead of you know 90 minutes average, which is, which, which is what I have on a normal, my quote unquote strategy that I probably use quite a bit where I'm, you know, enter, entering in more and I'm not just limiting myself to no, you get one entry point and that's it. When I give myself multiple entry points if I need it, yeah, that strategy is right around 90 minutes a day. But with this one, it, it actually came out to, actually probably a little bit below 60 minutes, but just to make the math easy, it was about a 60 minute average. So one hour per day. So this is not me staying chained to my computer or staying chained to my phone all day long, nothing like that. Right around 60 minutes. Start at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time when the market opens up and then the majority of the time was done by 10.30. Now, of course, a couple of days I went over that, and but a lot of days I was well below it here. But point being, 60 minutes. So what do I mean it's worth the time? Well, doing the math there, because there's 19 days, then there's an average of one hour per day and 19 hours total, right? One hour per day over 19 days, 19 hours total, no, uh, no calculus there required. That ultimately broke down to $153 per hour. I like that hourly rate. That's a very solid hourly rate. I'm happy with that. Worth the time, for sure. But what if, let's just do this real quick, just because I want to rub salt in my own wounds a little bit and hopefully really drive home this idea of superhero trading. But let's say that that day, and in all actuality, that should, that should have been a green day. But I won't go that far. Let's just say that that green day was instead just $288. Uh, and we won't, I won't tilt it too far, but yeah, very realistic, like I said, I started off that day with a winning trade, but let's say that day only cost me 288. That means that the total for the month would have been 49.21, which means my per hour rate would have been $259 per hour. Wow. But because I decided to do that, all of that went away and it turned out to quote unquote only being 153 per hour, which is still very, very solid. But to think one day, one day beside, because I've decided to act like that really just took everything else away. So don't be a superhero, okay? I get it. It's a, it's a very tempting you know, decision to make, but don't do it. And then the other thing that I not necessarily learned, but if I can encourage you to uh, you know consider, is that being part of a team provides great, great value. So here's a social media post that I made, and you can see that the, a fellow member, not me, they spotted a uh, Boeing, they made the alert at 10.07 a.m., and then you can see right there, I took the alert, um, and I, I made the trade based off of their alert, which ultimately put $600 in my pocket, and the trade was done by a little after 10.10. In other words, it was about a three minute trade. So when, I was, when I'm talking about, hey, you know what? This F actually only averaged right around 60 minutes per day. I mean, right there, you're seeing in, in three minutes, 
I was up over $600 on that trade. And the point here that I'm trying to make, and just as an FYI, yeah, I realize that maybe you're kind of with Clay, that's only 19 days, that's not quite one month. Okay, well, there we go, there's May 1st. So there is 20 days, which is one month of doing the strategy, but you can see right there that I wanted to give this person a shout out and illustrate the point that yeah, when you're part of a team, you can miss seeing something, because I totally missed Boeing. I mean, that was the bear flag set up there, it was sitting there so, oh so pretty, and I don't know what I was doing, I don't know how I missed it, I was looking at other things, but because they alerted it to me, I was still able to not only see it, but make the trade on it, and then do very well on that trade. So my point here is, you know what, if you're interested in joining the community, I would love for you to join my community, but this isn't to say, and I'm not trying to come across as, hey listen, the only community that you can have success with is mine. I'm not saying that, if you feel comfortable with somebody else and maybe you're thinking, I don't know, should I join or shouldn't you, join, please, join. But if you're interested in mine, I, I, I don't think, I know I offer fair value, $99 for three months, and then if you do the math, that breaks down to $8.25 per week. So it's really a question of, if I invest and join uh, you know, the community, do I believe I can get more than $8.25 per week of value? Not per day, not per hour, per week. If you think you can, then I, I hope you decide to uh, give it a look and uh, you know, consider joining, because I would love to have you. Crazy, huh? One day, one day, so drastically changed that per rate, you know, dollar per hour, and how it could have, you know, shaped up. So, you know, don't, ah, uh, no superhero trading, okay? No superhero trading. And, you know, that's not necessarily a lesson learned for me. It was just a lesson that I apparently needed to have pounded into my head again. But like I said, the one thing that I, I mean, this was very powerful for me was the, the whole, you know, 60 minutes. That was definitely a very, very nice average. And I, I think if I really had, to, if I nailed it down, that's, it's probably even less than that. But I really benefited from that. I'm glad I did this experiment uh, because I, you know what? Thank you to all those that suggested it a long time ago because yeah, that whole 60 minute thing, that was a value bit of inf valuable bit of information that I pulled from it. And uh, hopefully you learned from it. But that's what happened. Those were my results. That's what I learned. Hopefully you learned something from it. And you know, if you have any uh, comments, questions, as always, leave those down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And uh, thanks for giving me, uh, thanks for coming through and you know, experiencing my experiment with me. So this will actually be a Saturday video for this Saturday. Okay. So hopefully that's not too bad to just patch things no, before and no, after no. or something. Look at you doing like real. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.